First, let me ask you, were you disappointed that the president did not show up at the House of Reps? Um, I wouldn't say I was disappointed because it is in his character to do that. If you remember, uh, during the Oputa panel, set up by General Obasanjo, both um, General Ibrahim Babengida and himself were invited, and they didn't show. They didn't, they didn't go there. And um, even Oputa himself, the late Oputa, tried to rationalize it and say, well, the status of this um, court is just that of a high court. And, but the real truth is this. They had disobeyed the orders and authority of a standing president duly elected by the Nigerian people. You know, so um, it is in the character of some people in Nigeria not to realize that institutions must be respected and they should show examples. Mm. You know, I remember in 1999 to a, the then Minister of Defense was invited by the Senate. He refused to go. You know, so it is consistent with the, with the nature and behavior of our people. And they need to realize that anyway that um, if you break the law, then you have no moral authority to bring other people below you who break the law too. Because you are now sending negative signals into the society telling them that you are above the law. So you think the president broke the law by this act? Of course, of course. It's, it's inconsistent with the democratic um, norms. You know, in, in U.S., for example, when um, the Toyota, you know, there was a, a Toyota that was causing deaths, you know, maybe I think it had problems with the throttle. The American, uh, what do you call them, Congress, invited Mr. Toyota from Japan. Believe me, he left his country and went to answer to them. Because the American people, you know, stand as number one. And the Nigerian people, duly represented by the members of the National Assembly, should stand as number one. And they must be respected. So, for me, it was more than a big disappointment. You know, there were talks about the format in which this visit or planned appearance was going to take. There were questions about whether it was going to be an address an interaction or a closed session because of the peculiarity of the security discussions. For you, because, I mean, there were some arguments that the president might not be able to divulge some information. So seeing that peculiarity, what format do you think this should have taken? Because there are talks that maybe the president might even appear eventually. So what format should this have taken, maybe? Some people are saying that um, the official way of inviting Mr. President was to write to him and um, for him to respond, telling them when he would come and then finally get there. But for God's sake, this is about national security. You placed your hand on the Quran and promised the Nigerian people that you were going to do everything, all within your powers as the president to preserve them, to protect them. And here is a situation where you would have shined. You know, it's an opportunity for you to shine, to tell the people what you already know that they don't know.